let's talk about this. And did the Lakers did or did not the the LA Lakers make a massive mistake? So I'll let you take the floor. It's all you. Let's back it up. Let's back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. So like I did say, and, and this is like this was optimism a long time ago, saying that okay, you know LeBron James. He, he wanted Russell Westbrook on the team so he could kind of relax sometimes and kind of just take the take the weight off his shoulder and everything. It's been an absolute disaster. Can we can we acknowledge this? Let me see, let me pull up the Lakers, the Lakers rec- record. Last time they were losing some really bad teams, but the Lakers are not. They don't look. They just forget their record. Honestly, they just don't look good. They do not look like a good team. I don't even like talking about the Lakers because they kind of make me sick. Um, and you know, I, I just don't like talking about them. Um, and the one thing I will say, I don't about, like about, talking about that icky purple and gold either. So I we're know, good on that one. And when it was Kobe, I kind of, it was, it was, it was tolerable, but now it's not Kobe. It's just this, it's just this over bloatedly hyped team that the media just constantly just talks about all the time. They're 10 and 11. They're sub 500 with Anthony Davis, Russell Westbrook, a top 10 core score of all time in Carmelo Anthony, a three-time defensive player of the year in Dwight Howard, and LeBron James. Now, granted, LeBron James has been hurt about 10 games. So, you know, he had, seen, and he had an amazing game against the Pacers the other night. It's neither here nor there. But but the trade you're referring to, right, is, the, is basically that the Lakers are trying to get rid of Russell Westbrook now. So they got, so they trade all these things. Cause we need a star, man. We need star power. We're the Lakers, man. The media is going to talk about us all day and every day and every single, you should basically just, you should basically just give us like every star you have for, for a second round pick. That's the Lakers fans. It's so annoying. I like, get really, I hate, I hate the Lakers like fans and the media. It's, it's a bunch of nonsense, but this, this trade takes the cake right here. This one, man, right here. So they, so John Wall will not play for the Rockets. He will not play for the Rockets. And there's a rumor coming out that Russell Westbrook and him, they might just straight up swap. They might just swap Russell Westbrook for uh, John Wall. And man, that would be the ultimate just like F you to the rest of the league. Because John Wall would be absolutely perfect with the Lakers. He would be absolutely perfect. And uh, it's just... It's just sad, man. It's just sad. Like the Lakers pretty much get whatever they want. The the league just lets it go because it's LeBron. And, and what do you think about that, Lee? What if they really pulled it off, man? What if they really did John Wall for Russell Westbrook? Wouldn't that like make you kind of just curl a little bit? I, I don't know. That's just how I feel. No, it, it, you you hit it right on the head though, because John Wall would fit perfectly in the way the LA Lakers run that system. He he would. Uh, now. The the question is, would would they or could they pull that trade off? Would would I don't see I don't know too much about Westbrook's contract with with um the Lakers. I, I I'm fully admitting that I don't know too much about his contract. Um, but that that would uh, it would be in, what, what was that? I'm saying I'm looking at Westbrook's numbers. He's got okay. almost five turnovers a game with the Lakers. See, that's five. I think that's 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 the a massive re- I think that's a huge reason to why they 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 want to get rid of him in the first place. It's it's they're they're realizing that he's cuz they're trying to run the offense through him and it's just not working. It's it's just not work, working at all. It's absolutely terrible and just the fact that just the fact that Anthony, like Carmelo Anthony, is the most efficient player on the team right now. That's terrible. Like, where is Anthony Davis? Like, does he even exist anymore, or is he just he got his ring now and his money, so he just doesn't care? Is that what this is? Like, that's what it looks like to me. So, I, I don't know. I, I think the Lakers are are crap. I think that like the media loves them so much, and it annoys me that uh, that John Wall, he like won't even play. For the the Rockets, like he won't even step on the floor to play because he's scared of getting hurt or something, and he wants to go to the Lakers. It's like, man, just this is ridiculous. Like you're making a mockery of the NBA, in my opinion. Is is he straight up refusing to play? Yes. Is that what it is? He will not play. He will not play, and the Rockets are okay with it, and they just want to like trade him basically. But see, to me, that's more on the Rockets than anything because you signed a contract. Like, like you're there. You know what I mean? Like. Like that's your employer. You can't just be like, "No, I don't feel like working today." No, that's not how this works. That's on. See, 
that's to me that's more of a, a a Houston Rockets problem than it is a a a John Wall problem because the 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 Rockets got to go to him and be like, dude, you 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 you're here. Like you, we're paying you're your money. Con- like you're here. You're you're gonna play or we're not gonna pay you. Yeah, I mean, and that's the thing. Like the NBA has become. I mean, we're, we're gonna talk about the Ben Simmons situation. I'm sure. But, like, this is kind of like these guys now are basically saying, well, I don't feel like playing anymore, therefore I'm not going to. And I understand John Wall a little bit more than Ben Simmons because Ben Simmons is just a little child and he's just being a baby. But, like, John Wall, he is looking at it like, okay, I only have maybe, like, four years left of being, like, a good NBA player. I want to spend my time with a contender, not waste my legs on the Rockets and stuff, which I half understand. I understand like the mentality, but I still think it's bogus. If they're paying you millions of dollars to play basketball, you should be playing basketball, period. There shouldn't be just like, oh, well, no, you're, I don't like this team. Nah, fuck that. you like, no, get in there and play. You're a basketball player, play. Like, I, it's so stupid. But at the same time, it's like, if they, if the Lakers were that lucky that they literally traded uh, Westbrook, who is decimating their chemistry, basically, because that's what he, does in his later years because he's much less of a raw talent and much more of a well he's much more of a raw talent still in his like 33rd you know 33 years of age which is pretty crazy so it's just um see somebody said uh mellow is carrying the fuck yeah yeah exactly the mellow mellow is carrying the lakers like somebody said it in the chat like mellow is actually the one playing well in the lakers that's nuts to me like he is so fallen off and he's doing better than Russell Westbrook who's supposed to make 40 million dollars a year. Melo makes nothing. That's what I'm trying to get at I guess. I'm trying to have a bad I'm saying it badly. But my point is that like he's making like 10 times more than guys who are producing way more. And it's just like yeah, Westbrook is not good and if the if the Lakers were able to pull off a John Wall trade for Westbrook, I would just be like dude like they get everything they want because ESPN seriously like if if they did that and LeBron won a title with John Wall and all these other guys. I wouldn't even count that title. The title is as worthless as the Ray Allen title to me. Like that's that's how I see it, and that's kind of my rant for the day. It's like that title would mean nothing to me because you just basically got out of all of your crap, and then you got John Wall, an elite uh, point guard. Now, obviously, he might get hurt again, but that's not the point. The point is after Lakers. That's the damn point. So that's my <laughs> rant for the day. But we have, so so to kind of like just to hit on the Lakers stuff for a little bit here. We t- how many we talk about this on a few episodes prior of, about the age and the chemistry and just the the problems that they that that team could run into this season with the the age and just the all of the one the one the age and two the 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 um egos that have to coexist on one team you know yes. like like we how many how many episodes like we've we've talked about it on multiple episodes here that that those two issues could ultimately derail this 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 team and i think it's kind of pathetic i actually think it's pathetic because you you have a team that has nothing but hall of famers hall of famers rajon rondo is a hall of famer dwight howard is a hall of famer carmel anthony's a hall of famer russell westbrook's a hall of famer anthony davis is a hall of famer lebron james is a hall of famer and you have all these chemistry issues it's like didn't half of you play on the olympics together what is this so i mean i i think the lakers are washed i think westbrook was the final like getting russell westbrook was the stupidest thing they could ever do because now what what little chemistry they had is gone and that's and they're not going to even make the playoffs. I'm going to say it right now. I'm, I'm calling it right now. You heard it here first on episode 19 of the I90 podcast. The LA Lakers will not make the playoffs. Mark my word. It it and honestly, it, it would have sounded like a hot take to me at the beginning of the season. Fair but ne- but you know, but you know what I mean. No, but here's the thing, right? Yeah. It would have been a hot take to me at the beginning of the season. Not have like. But watching how the chemistry, how how it's been so far, and we're really not that far into the season. What are we, 21, 22 games in, you know, at the most? Not even that far. You know what I mean? And we're already starting to see, like, the massive cracks and separation and, and, and like, voids in this, in that team. It's, it's, 
it's the not Kings good. and the Timberwolves look better than them. The Kings. Like what? You know what I'm saying, bro? Like how? So I I mean, and I get they're young and they're rising and stuff like that. I'm not trying to disrespect the Kings. But like historically speaking, if you would have told me that the Kings and the Timberwolves were beating LeBron James a uh, LeBron James led team uh, like in the standings, I would have been shocked. I mean, again, you're right. I would have probably laughed at you. Yeah, yeah. But they look way better, and they look like they have a much better chance at the eighth seed or even the fifth, fifth to eighth seed than the Lakers do. I mean, things things can change in the NBA season pretty fast. Like for instance, the the Hawks played really bad for a couple games, and then now they're on like a ten game winning streak. But at the same time, this team, like I said, I know, six Hall of Famers. And you're struggling against this many teams. I'm just saying, I think this team is washed. I think that's the word. They are washed. Anyway, that's all I have to say about the Lakers. Because I don't even want to talk about them that much. But if they pulled off this John Wall trade and then things started to turn around, I would literally vomit. I would throw up in my mouth because it's just like, yeah, it's typical. That's what the Lakers get. I don't know. They just always get everything. So. Yeah. <laughs>